We are Pierre, Lisa, and our furry crew member, Killer. Now sailing the Marquesa Islands of French Polynesia in the South Pacific. Please subscribe to join our adventures. In the South Pacific, January and February are summer months with more risk of storms near Tahiti. We sailed north towards the equator to spend this time in the Marquesas. These are mountainous, tropical islands which are rich with fruit trees and vegetable trees such as grapefruit, mango, avocado, breadfruit. Truly a beautiful scenery, very green and verdant islands. Nuku Hiva and Hiva Oa are the most populated islands with grocery stores and marine supplies. We spent some time anchored near a more scarcely populated island of Tawata. Tawata has uninhabited bays with white sand beaches that are only accessible by boat. After some time here, I really wanted to see the island of Fatu Hiva, reputed to be the most beautiful island in the Marquesas. And so with an acceptable weather window, we took on the upwind sail from Tawata to Fatu Hiva. We motored along the west side of Toata before we could turn south towards Fatu Hiva. The winds were light and fickle as we started out. As we approached the end of the island, the wind started to really pick up. And just at that time, I caught a fish I had been trolling. I didn't have a camera set up to take a video bringing the fish in and we were only two on board and Pierre needed to manage the boat. But here's a little video I took after. So I, I just caught a fish. I had to do it by myself. The wind's super gusty. I got to go bring in the other rod and then I'm gonna First, I'll show you the fish, quick. Let's see. I haven't even had time to take out the hook. I put an ice pick in the brain to kill it quickly, and a knife to sever the, the spinal cord. It's a tuna. So I'm back and we just reefed the main. A bit of an ordeal always. Uh, you know, sometimes it works. This time not so much and now I'm going to deal with the fish and I'll have to do the blood on the deck a little later because it's, uh, it's quite rough. We approached the bay, we could see the mixed supply ship, cruise ship was in port, the Era Nui. The main anchorage in Fatu Hiva is in the Bay de Vierge, translated as Bay of Virgins. It's rumored that it's originally called Bay de Verge because of the towering rocks at the entrance of the bay that looked like phallic structures. However, this name was not acceptable to the missionaries, who simply added an eye to rename the bay from from the Bay de Verge to the Bay de Vierge. Ah, 
I want to give a shout out to all of those who have checked out the Alliance to Cure website. I know it's helped at least one family and bringing awareness for this disease will help prevent the consequences of brain bleeds. On with the show and enjoy. Once we were anchored, we just stayed on board and enjoyed the view until the passengers from the Aranui had returned to their boat. Then we ventured on shore. It required some careful timing to get into the dinghy dock because of the surge in the bay. The surge was too heavy to leave our dinghy at the dock, so we took it ashore with the wheels that came with the octender. That's a mango tree, and if I zoom in, you'll see just tons of mangoes. A man came out and greeted us and invited us into his garden to take some grapefruit. He wanted to trade, and we promised to bring some fishing lures the very next day. It's a wall of grapefruit everywhere. And Leah, who's gonna show us this picture. Photo? Yes. Oui, okay. <laughs> Donc, c'est toi qui fais tout ça. Oui, et ma femme. Et, et euh, on va envoyer une caisse comme ça. Oui. Grand comme ça. Grand caisse. They're going to send a big case of this to Tahiti um, to a, a show with sculpture. Vous faites remplir des caisses comme ça. Ouais. Cher en prix, quand tu parles à la propriété, ça vaut long. Ah oui, ouais. c'est beaucoup. Beaucoup dans la main. Oh, c'est tombé. Oh oui, tombe par terre. Ils ont tellement de fruits, tellement de fruits qu'ils ne peuvent pas manger tous. Regarde ce petit kitten là. Miu, 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 miu. Hello, little kitty. Miu, miu, miu. Miu, miu, miu. Voilà, c'est ça ce qu'on fait. Or some big ones. Which one do you like, Pierre? Since it's about to happen, we have our two grapefruit drinks made with fresh sweet grapefruit. And that's just a taste of what's to come because we went into town. I brought some fishing lures and fish hooks and stuff like that. And the first person I saw was fishing. He works in the store, so he's bringing us fruit tomorrow. Then we walked down the street, and someone was like, come in our garden, we want to give you grapefruit. So they gave us some, and we're going to go back tomorrow. And they want to trade some wooden sculptures that they make for fishing lures. So I'm bringing some more fishing lures tomorrow, and I'm going to give them my favorite rapella. Because since we're just trolling, I'm not using those, and when I go back to the US, I can buy another one. So I think he'll really appreciate that. returned to town the next day to explore. We were planning to hike, but were offered a ride to the top of the radio tower, which was probably a little further than we would have hiked. So we accepted the ride. We just hiked up the last bit to the radio tower. Our driver stopped at a little shrine to pray on the way up, and we could see why with the steepness of the road and no guardrails. What a view from the top, just fabulous. Those 
lines in the water are downbursts from wind from the hills. So says Pierre. <laughs> okay. So they have solar panels. Yeah, so uh, I was wondering how they were able to get power up for this big antenna here. Which is, if you look at it up there, small sideways antenna are pointing to the Papua. And that's how they receive and they transmit all the communication for the cellular and the network of the island. And then that's the transmitter down the little village. And the two big antennas are going up for the rest of the island to another tower, which is probably closer to the next town. And the copper pipe that you see, that's the lightning. Oh, yeah. Are batteries here, and these are the batteries that we produce to those batteries so it always has power for several days in case of cloudy conditions to power the antenna for communication. blowing just puffs of wind and this morning it's only going up to 31 knots but it must have been 50 knots up and down last night and with the surge the, the boat's going back just back and forth and you hear the creaking so um, that's the disadvantage of this anchorage that's Fatuhiva truly is the most beautiful island in the Marquesas if not one of the most beautiful islands in the world but it has this very small bay we're lucky we're just two boats here I can't imagine if there's six boats here. There must be lots of crashes in the night. And the wind just, with a venture effect, it just comes screaming down those hills. And with all this beauty, there is no Wi-Fi here. So we're gonna take off and go back to Toata, and then Hiva Oa, and then we'll go back to Nuko Hiva where we're picking up some friends. So that's, that's the plan for the next week. And we're gonna get going shortly. Sad to leave this beautiful place. And take the last pictures as we leave. Night last night was so uh, rock and roll. Um, yeah, I had to keep getting up and uh, that's all right. Two coffees and we're ready to go. Makes all ready to go up. Green. I think it's gusts up to like 40 knots. You know, if you can see these areas are dark. Well, where it comes whistling down from the hill, and all of a sudden they have this huge gust. I don't know if you can see that. Genoa with a short sail, so we're bringing it to the dummy. 
where the bridle was rubbing all night with those 40 knots and stuff. Just off the wind. enjoyed our trip to Fatuhiva, but it was really nice to be back in the calm anchorage of Tawata, a beautiful bay that we had already enjoyed before. I'm making homemade dog biscuits. Now there are dogs in the Marquises, but I guess they don't give dog treats because I had run out and I had to make my own. Okay, you tell me if you like it. It's a little warm. Okay. I guess that's a yes. 